Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to get the latest EMI with the help of the Terraform. Now when I talk about the EMI, EMI is something which we need whenever we need to create a EC2 machine. So let's suppose, let, let me go to my AWS console. So here I am in my AWS console. Now I already logged in here and I am in Mumbai location right now. So let's suppose from the console I need to create a machine so what are the steps are going to be the first step is for me to choose the AMI which is very important now here I can pick from the different AMI I can select my AMI like I can select the Linux AMI I can select the Mac OS and if I scroll down I will get the different AMI IDs here okay now here is the AMI ID okay now this is something I need to get it from the Terraform. So how we will get this thing from the Terraform. Now for that we need couple of things. We need the owner detail. Now what exactly the owner detail? See if I go here in my account here I can see my account ID. Now think of a scenario. You are working in a production or you are working in a company where you have multiple AWS account and you need to search for the AMI ID from one of the accounts. So this thing, the owner detail is very important. So this is something you need to keep handy while you need to search for the AMI. The second thing is, let's suppose if I need to search for the AMI from where I can search. Let me go to the serve AWS console one more, one more time, EC2. And here we have the option for the AMI. Let me click here. Now here it is selected. Um, owned by me right now i don't have any ami created so it is not showing me anything but let me change this by public images now here it is showing me all the public images and if i am going to see the owner like here it is telling me the owner account detail the same detail like this this is my account id and this is someone else account id if i scroll down i will get n number of machines here you can see the filter here 1788 and if i scroll towards right here I can see the owner alias as well right AWS marketplace now let's suppose I need to search for all the images that are provided by the Amazon so how I can do that for that um, um, I can search for the owner owner alias and owner alias is equal to Amazon now here I will get all the machine or all the AMI which are provided by the Amazon and these are all the public images now this is something I need to search with the help of the Terraform. So how we can do that? See while creating a machine we have couple of ways we can provide a AMI ID over there. Now which is the AMI ID? This is the AMI ID we can provide. Or we have one more way where we can provide it dynamically. So in this video we are going to focus on how we can provide the AMI ID dynamically. Not something like where I am going to copy this thing and provide it. No. Not like this. I want. I want to you know give a search criteria and from that search criteria it is going to search for the AMI and it is going to assign that AMI while creating the EC2 machine. Now let's go to the Visual Studio. So here I have couple of things like I have the provided.tf so here I have the access key and the secret key there are multiple ways by which we can assign the access key and the secret key here I have assigned in the plain text so this is not recommended. Now if you want to know how we can assign you know access key and a secret key in a more secure way there is a video which I have already created you always go and watch that video the link is there in the description or you will get the link at the top as well. Okay now here I have the access key and the secret key provided now from where I get those details so I went to this IAM console and here I created one of the user that is the programmatic access so how I created a user let me tell you like here I give the name test and here I have selected this next attach existing policy here I have selected the admin one next review and create once I create I got this detail like the access key and the secret key here okay let me close this one Now, this is the provider.tf. So, here I have this information. Okay. And the region I have selected AP South 1. So, if I go here, I can see I am in Mumbai, which is AP South 1. 
you will also get this information from the top of the url as well ap south one okay now the next thing i need to create a ec2 machine but the ec2 machine which i need to create with the help of the terraform i need to get the ami id dynamically for that let me go to the main.tf now the next thing i need to go to the official documentation of the terraform now what thing i need i need the data data value i need now what exactly the data is i have already explained you okay if you still not sure like what exactly the data value is you can always go and watch the other video you will get idea regarding that in this video i'm not going to explain what exactly the data is in the layman term just understand this thing data is to get some information which is already there in the aws account if we need those information we will get with the help of the data value now data what exactly i need i need the aws ami from terraform resource right now the first link which i get now here it is telling me how to get the data value now let me copy this thing completely okay let me go to my visual studio now here i am now here the first thing data aws ami and then the example now this is something i can change okay this is something for my reference or rather i would say this is something the reference for the terraform so this value i can change without any issue executable user now who is going to execute this thing this is something i don't require here because you know i'm going to execute this thing the user which is already logged in on this machine is going to execute this thing but if you have multiple user and you need to specify a certain user who is going to perform this action then you can go with that i don't need that so i have removed now the most recent is equal to true see whenever i'm going to search for some ami okay it will give me a list of amis so i need to pick the latest the most recent one from the amazon so that is the reason i have this thing true if you want to get the list of the amis or if you don't want to pick the latest one or you want to pick any anyone randomly then you can ignore this thing but i'm not going to ignore this thing okay now name digits i don't need it here next is the owner now let me go back here to the ami id where okay let me go ami id now let me go to the public images now here we have the owner detail and we have the owner alias as well right let me go to the official documentation now here it says the owner self okay let me scroll down a bit now here it says required so that means i need to provide this information this is something i cannot ignore i need to provide some information here now the list of the ami owner to limit search and here it is also saying that valid values aws account id self or aws owner alias like amazon amazon marketplace microsoft now let me tell you these options so if i go to my ec2 console in my ami here we have the owner information and here we have the owner alias information so one thing i need to provide now which is this owner information this is something i will get it from here this is my account id and this is someone else account id right so let's suppose i need to search for this one let me copy this thing okay and let me change this thing to this okay now the next we have the filter okay so in the filter we can give the name so let let's suppose i need to get this thing let me let me copy this thing and let me change this thing with this okay root device ebs i'm not sure whether this is a ebs ami or not so that is something we need to check whether the value is architecture virtualization type is hmv okay so let's let's try to search this thing let me save this thing and the first command which we need to run that is terraform in it so that it can initialize and then terraform plan here it is telling me no changes now the question here is how i can see the ami id see i know this command ran successfully and that is the reason it is telling me no changes if there is any 
problem with this command it is going to give me the error message okay i need to get the ami id as well this ami id i also need to get this ami id now how i will get that thing now for that we need to use a output okay now in the output we need to give a name so now this name i can give anything this is as per my choice so ami id i can give we have sensitive description depend on all those information i don't require so let me remove this thing value this is important now here i need to provide the value now what value i need the data value here now so how to give data dot what is the name aws ami so this is something i need to provide aws underscore ami then again dot example whatever the name i have here example and then here what thing i need to provide i need to provide the id most of the time it is going to be id but for some of the resources it is like name id is not working over there but that is something you will learn later on don't worry about those things so most of the time you only need to give id here okay let me save it and let me run the terraform plan one more time see here i got the ami id 3e4 let me check 3e4 yes i got the ami id now what i can do is if i need to create a ec2 machine so let me go here and search for the ec2 so aws ec2 resource from terraform okay now this is the one let me copy this thing okay paste it here now here we need to change this thing with what with the data value we have it here so the so the same thing i need to follow data dot aws ami dot example dot id okay now let me save this thing let me run the terraform plan and let me expand this thing so that you can see now here it is telling me plan one to add now if i scroll up see terraform will perform this following action aws instance web will be created now why it is taking this web if you see the value here let me scroll down a bit web this is the name okay whatever the name you want you can give here this is totally up to your choice and ami id 3e4 let me search for that 3e4 so it is picking the correct ami id okay let's let's do one more example the real world example i would say now here i need to search for a id which is provided by the amazon so what all things i need to change i need to change the owner id because this time the owner is not going to be the account number it is going to be the amazon so let's search for it so from the public images i need to search filter down it to owner alias is equal to is equal to amazon okay now let's suppose i need um, uh, okay amazon here we have the owner id and let's suppose i need this one let me copy this thing now where i need to change this thing here right now the next thing which i need to change the owner id or i can give amazon here owner alias so let me give owner id is going to be this thing let me pick this thing okay root volume is going to be the ebs everything remain the same so let me save this thing go with the terraform plan if everything is fine i will get the output okay c a4 let me see c a4 right so this is how we can provide you know dynamically the uh, dynamically the aws ami at the time of creating a machine so we don't have to give this value okay now one more thing which i need to show it to you guys okay this thing the output here we have selected the id do we have other options as well here can i get the name like other things yes we will get the other things as well so let me remove this thing the resource type let me save this thing and let me have change this thing to name
okay let me save it let me run the terraform plan one more time and let's see am i id okay uh, no it is not showing let me save it one more time terraform plan yes am i id it is telling me the name so that means id and name are working absolutely fine but do we have a other options as well yes we do have the other options so for that what i need to do is i need to search in the terraform documentation so how we can search we need to search for the data value and the data value we need to search the aws ami terraform let me search so here we have the data sources now let me scroll down so these all things i can search arn id most of the time we are going to search the ar id only but we do have the ARN architecture. So let's go one by one. So let me create one more. Okay. Here I need to change the name. This is going to be the um, ARN. Okay. Let me change it to ARN. Let me create one more. This is going to be. Let me pick randomly anything like the creation date. Okay. So. I need to change it here creation underscore date let me check whether the spelling is correct or not creation underscore date yes everything seems to be correct let me save this thing let me run terraform plan and see the output we are getting the amazon id we are getting the arn we are getting the creation date as well so these all things I can search if I want to search for the kernel ID if I want to search for the name if I want to search for the owner ID whether the image is public or not so everything we will get it here okay everything we will get it with this output so I hope you understand this thing like how to work with the data value how to work with the output how to you know give AMI ID um, dynamically at the time of creation of the ec2 machine okay if you really like this video do subscribe my channel and hit the like button thank you